Hi, I'm Chef Keith Snow. Welcome to my kitchen. So it's almost Thanksgiving. I want to show you how to make a perfect bird. But this one's a little different. Number one, I'm using a naturally raised turkey, and that's something that I advise you to look for. No antibiotics, no chemicals, naturally raised. That's a good thing. The other thing, when you look at this bird, this is about a five pound turkey breast. And there are millions and millions of people out there that don't need, they may not like the dark meat, but they don't need all that turkey. So you can go to most butcher shops and you can have them take a boneless turkey breast like this, tie it up, and it's going to serve at least eight, nine people, but you don't have the entire thing. It will cook much quicker and it's a lot safer than stuffing a turkey. So let's get right into it. The first thing you notice here is I've got a good roasting dish. What I'm going to do is take some vegetables, and these are all organic. That's celery and carrot. It's two stalks of celery and two carrots, diced up. And then here is one large sweet onion. Dump that all in the bottom and spread them out. We're going to season these pretty liberally with some kosher salt, black pepper, We want these to taste good. They're going to help us make gravy because we are going to make our gravy later and I'm going to show you right in this pan. So now we've got that. We're going to put some rosemary right out of my garden. We're just going to strip it back. If you can see it grows out of the plant like this. You grab the top with your fingers and pull. And if I can do it right there, it comes right off. So we'll sprinkle the rosemary. I'll show you one more time. Grab and just pull it backwards. It'll strip right off the stem. And this will give a nice perfume to these vegetables. And here, again, is our turkey. It has not been seasoned. What I want to do is add a herb butter. And this is one stick of organic butter. What I'm going to do is add about four tablespoons, I may not use it all, of sage right from my garden. Dump this sage in there. We're going to take this, and this butter's been softened, as you can see. And we're just going to mix these herbs in. And again, you've heard me say it a hundred times, but sage is that beautiful Thanksgiving herb. Okay. There's our little sage butter. What we're going to do is take our bird, but we're not going to dump it on top of those vegetables. We have a rack. And this is a pretty neat device. And the rack is going to enable us to keep the turkey off the bottom of the pan so we have more room to cook our vegetables. And then when we're done, you can just take some pot holders. You'll be able to lift your turkey right out and put it aside. So let's put our rack in there. And we'll take a fork like this to help our bird get in there. And you could put a much bigger turkey in this rack. You could probably cook a 15 pounder in here. This is just a small one. So now we'll take our herb butter, and this is going to help this turkey develop a beautiful brown crust. And just sort of paint it on here. The skin is slippery. What I'm trying to avoid is having to do it with my hands, but I may wind up doing that. Just get your butter onto your bird. And if you have more on the top, of course, it's going to melt and run down the sides. So that is looking about right. And this butter was unsalted, so we're going to need to season this turkey. We'll set that aside, and then we'll take some kosher salt and go right on top. Some pepper, coarse ground black pepper. And now this is ready. It's ready to go into an oven, and we're going to put it in a 375 degree oven, and we're going to make sure that the internal temperature of this comes to 165 degrees. And I'm going to put a thermometer in it that is a probe thermometer that's connected to a digital readout. I want to make sure that this comes out when it's 165 degrees. I don't recommend cooking it to 180 like they advise on the package. They don't want you to get sick but they're not so worried about your bird being dry. And if you cook it to 180, I can promise you it's going to be dry. So this one will go into that oven with the thermometer and it will cook to an internal temperature of 165. Okay, as you can hear, our alarm has gone off. Our bird is at 165. So we'll turn that little guy off. 
and I'll show you what it looks like. There is our delicious roasted turkey breast. That looks really great. You can see I'm going to remove the breast and I'm going to put it right on this board to rest. And this is what's great about this rack is you can just lift it right out. How handy is that? Just like this. Now leave that rest. You don't want to cut that now and don't pull out the thermometer because you'll have juice coming out. So here is what's left in the bottom of the pan and this is going to be where we construct our gravy. Okay, now I want to show you how to uh, take our turkey off the rack and carve it for our finale here. This little rack comes with this little handle that you can pull right out. Take that center piece out and then you can just separate the pieces. And this has a non-stick coating on it, so these are pretty cool racks. And why don't we just take this um, thermometer probe out and there's our turkey breast, set that equipment aside. And now we want to slice this beautiful bird and it looks perfect. I mean for six or seven people, if you don't want to do the whole turkey, this is the way to go. So now we will slice. Oh, and it's perfectly juicy. With that sage butter on the top. I can't wait. I'm going to try some. Mmm. That's really good. To see more tips, techniques, and videos, visit HarvestEating.com. Four seasons, one lifestyle.